Hey guys, it's me Raquel and I got a huge update and some big news I'm really excited about. So if you guys have been following me, you guys have been with me with my infertility, my polycystic ovarian syndrome, and now my natural weight loss with PCOS. And I've gotten to my weight loss go to where I'm able and I qualify for tummy tuck. Um, I... I've shared a video with you guys and I've let you guys see my innermost personal thing I'm so self-conscious about and that's the extra skin and no matter how much I work out I just couldn't lose it. Um, I've never been able to show you guys how actually big I was. You've seen it in my videos but this is actually some of who I used to be. Like I've always been the big girl. I've never been small. I've always had a supermodel ego. I've always loved myself. I just knew I wasn't healthy. And for my kids, I wanted to set a good example. And, um, you know, I was always fly. Well, what I would consider big girl beauty. Um, I've always loved myself and I've always thought I was healthy and okay because I still felt good about myself. And I was pre-diabetic. I had diabetes. I got off of the diabetes. Um, you know, I just started eating better. I started walking. I didn't do anything drastic. I just started drinking water. I portion controlled my food. And then I learned about meal prepping. And meal prepping really helped me out. I'm not a big workout person. So a lot of my stuff I've done is like... I've literally done dancing. I love to dance. I love to twerk. I love to shake it. I like to move. I, I've incorporated weights. I, I go hiking with friends. I do do a lot of that stuff. So that's how I was able to drop the weight. Um, I'm going to show you guys like, you know, a video of what I'm, I have right now going on, but my plan for the next four weeks, because my surgery date is actually March 9th. So I have until then to like really lose as much weight as possible. I'm not, a, I've never done any of those fad diets. I've just literally drank water, ate, worked out slowly and got there. Um, I'm gonna show you guys now like what I've been doing, my progress. Um, this is actually what my body looks like. Okay, I'm sticking it in, but this is what it is. Um, it's a lot of hanging and it's everywhere um, it's not super pretty and it causes a lot of back issues which really suck because I already have a lumbar stenosis now when I'm planking I want you guys to see how much extra weight I have to really work with and why like my form may not always be perfect and all of that good stuff. It really hangs and it causes a lot of tension on my back and my body. But I'm super excited. Um, I will be sharing for the next four weeks. I will be vlogging. I will be sharing my food with you guys, what I've been eating, what multivitamins I've been taking to prepare my body for um, surgery. Um, I will be giving you guys tummy tuck updates. Um, I've had four C-sections. I have three beautiful miracle babies. You guys, if you guys have been following me, you guys know that. So I'm hoping, I want to be realistic. I know it's going to hurt. But I'm hoping since I've had that past experience that I've at least built up a tolerance enough to handle that Uh recovery and it not be so vigorous and I don't want it to be too bad on my body like honestly I'm totally scared about the pain but I feel like I worked really hard for this and I really want it and I just want to share that journey with you guys and inspire you guys and know that it's possible to have kids and get through life and lose weight naturally with polycystic ovarian syndrome Pretty soon, I will be having um, a polycystic ovarian syndrome website up. 
with meal plans, with coaching, all of that. And um, I'm just super excited. I hope you guys follow me with this journey and I'll keep you guys updated. See you guys tomorrow for Workout Monday.